Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, with this you can literally find so many girls. Hey, what's up? Sammy here. So again, I'm the offline Xiaomi store here to hands on the Mi 11 Pro. Well, for the Mi 11 Ultra, I did an unboxing the hands on yesterday, so I'm not gonna do that. You can check out from here if you want. Without further ado, let's get started. But before that, let's talk about my sponsor, Tenishir iCare Phone for WhatsApp transfer. Tenishir iCare Phone for WhatsApp transfer is an easy to use tool. It can help you transfer WhatsApp messages from Android to iPhone, iPhone to Android, Android to Android, and iPhone to iPhone. So you will have no worries about WhatsApp messages or data lost after buying a new phone. Moreover, it's free to backup Kik, Line, Viber, and WeChat and restore them back to your iOS devices. Here I will show you how to transfer WhatsApp from iPhone to Android. If you didn't download Tenorshi iCare phone for WhatsApp transfer, just click the link in the description to download it first. Run this program, choose WhatsApp or WhatsApp business, connect your iPhone and Android phone to the software, follow the on-screen guide to set it. Then you can succeed transfer WhatsApp messages from iPhone to Android. If you are interested in Tenorshare iCare phone for WhatsApp transfer, you can get 30% off with the coupon code A7E5E to buy it. Link is in the description. Now to the phone. Let's check out the design first. The front is a 6.81 inch quad curved AMOLED display, QHD resolution and 120Hz refresh rate, and a Dolby Vision. The panel is protected by Corning's Gorilla Glass Vectors and comes with a pre-applied quad-covered screen protector. I feel it's a bit chunky but really durable. The Mi 11 Pro was boasts dual stereo speakers tuned by harm recording. If you are wondering how it sounds like, here's it. <laughs> You see, this TikTok thing, they always recommend this kind of annoying dancing girls videos, especially this one. Why not check more of this kind of videos? Yeah, man, I like this kind of video. The Mi 11 Pro also packs a tiny punch hole cutout for the 20 megapixel selfie camera. Though I don't take selfies that much, but it seems nice. Speaking of cameras, the Mi 11 Pro is the first device to pack Samsung's 50 megapixel GN2 camera sensor. The massive 1.2 inch sized module is the largest sensor put in a smartphone and boasts 1.4 micrometer sized pixels, dual pixel Pro AF, stagger HDR, and ISO Fusion. You'll also be able to capture 8K video straight from the main camera. And to my surprise, the stabilization is still supported under 8K resolution. That's crazy, man. In addition, you get a periscope module with 5x optical zoom and 50x digital zoom and OIS. I like this more than the 120x zoom that's on the Mi 11 Ultra because I can see more girls nearby. There's also a 13 megapixel arch wireless neighbor. As for hardware performance, it houses the Snapdragon 808 chipset and here is the Antutu benchmark and it has scored more than the Mi 11 Ultra. Can you believe that? Though Xiaomi said it has improved thermal management with class-leading heat dissipation thanks to its large 150mm vapor chamber and accompanying corporate heat sinks, it's still hot when you run into the benchmark. For other specs, you can check it out from here. Yes, it's Chinese, but I bet you know what it is. Because when I change to English language, all specs just don't show up there. At the end of this video, just in case you are curious about the unboxing, here it is. It includes some paperwork, a soft transparent phone case, no charger or cable is included if you are choosing the environmentally friendly version. So that's the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm Sammy and I will see you in the next one.